All right, hello everyone. I'm back, and it's morning now. Um. Whoa. How did he get here? Probably because he's got all those dark trees to hide in. Yeah, you just you just go die, man. Good, good. Um, I'm getting pretty hungry here, but I feel it's kind of important to uh, put some lights out. I'm going to leave three empty spaces and then put a light up. So one, two, three, it'll be on... No, not sticking off the side of it. On the top of it. And we'll pick that one up. And yes, you silly... Well... Out of my way! Ah, move! Two of them now. What are these guys... I don't get them. Well, hey. No one told you to go sit in my front lawn. I mean... Well, then move! I mean, come on. Chew. 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 Get a move on. Oh, great. Now I'm stuck by both of them. I mean, are they trying to get to my corn? Uh, my wheat? That wouldn't make any sense, though. Oh, no. Okay, one cow. Oh, no, he's trying to get in the house. Yeah, the house really isn't a good place for you. I can't see this guy's health bar at all. I don't like that. And why am I not getting a select path? I probably should not have done that. Well, it went away, so. Hmm. <laughs> yes. I know, I mean, you must want me to to eat you, because why else would you be standing there? You would be running away if you had any sense in you. But you don't. So instead, I am left here. Should do the only thing I know to do with you. Let's cook you into, hand into tasty hamburgers. <sighs> Meat not quite dead. Oh, that's from that zombie guy. Yeah, let's just throw that out. Alright, well. I believe we shall be running out to the yard. Um, I don't really know which tool you're supposed to use for harvesting wheat. I mean, should I be using the hoe? Is any one tool better than any other one tool? Or do they all work equally as well? I just don't know. I saw him. Right on the other side. Oh, great. Well, we may have a little fight on our hands. I'm hoping not. And I'm really not... Oh, good. He decided to walk off into the water and drown himself. Hey, I hope you have a nice trip down there, buddy. As for me, I, uh, I'm going to run back and see how that steak is coming along. I guess it's not technically steak, but... Cooked beef. Mmm. Yeah, what? No, I didn't want to put a bone up in the fire. I wanted to eat some beef. Ah, have some leftovers, hey. That's not a usual happening. Yeah, and this not quite dead meat. I don't know why I'm still holding on to that. Let's get rid of that stuff. So rancid anyways. Okay, well I don't have a 
No, I don't have a garden hole. Let's go make one. I think what I shall do is go hoe some more ground and plant these 15 more wheat seeds that I have. And then we'll see about, uh, I don't know. We'll see about something. Okay, I'm assuming... Okay, I can't use the hoe on those. I'm assuming these guys here are weeds. Because cotton doesn't look like that. Cotton is a, a brown, bushy type material. So we're just going to plant this up with wheat. I have one more piece of dirt, which is hardly enough to do anything with, but you know what? We're going to go plant some wheat on it anyways. And then I think there really will be no point in keeping this this little barrier wall thing here, seeing as how it won't be serving any purpose. Um, yeah. I don't really know why those didn't come crashing down. Ah, let's just use dirt. No, this doesn't take weeks. Blip, 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 blip. I wish I had better tools. And I know I could. If I only spent some time and collected some cobble wool. But, I just don't got time for that. Now, unfortunately, this is still going to be one plot higher. Uh, and there goes my shovel. Almost. Yeah, I didn't want to knock that one out. No, I don't want unidentified mushroom spores. What would I even do with them? I don't... Oh, hey. Yeah, let's fill that up. Last thing I really need is is more bad guys appearing. Yeah, and we'll uh, you know we'll chop away at this little tree trunk there. And then, oops, I'm trying to knock out the plant. I end up digging a hole in the ground. My bad. Okay, well. I have not yet really decided what I want to do. I think I want to just put a big old wooden stairway down. Uh, a big ramp or something? I don't know. Because, like, what's the point of... Come on. I don't know, I may as well... Pull it all out to one point, which may as well be this point. And then we can theoretically just do that, and then we'll pop that open. Knock the torch out. Knock the door out. Fill that in. I just dislike having to always be jumping to get up. I think I should use ramps. Or something that I can get somewhat sloped. Okay, I did have...
eight more fence pieces. Well, it's better than nothing, I guess. We'll pop them in here. And we'll, uh, we'll knock this torch out. Which, of course, one, two, three, one, two, three. Well, it looks like we might be making the making the ledge a little narrower. It's all about the aesthetics. It's also about staying safe. Hey, well, I heard the door. Heard the door close, but it didn't close. Okay, so. Soon we'll have a large fenced-in yard. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to have enough lights. And speaking of lights... Uh... Let me make it... An axe. What an axe! I think I am going to pop a sunlight in here or moonlight. Either will work. Now the question is do we do a two by two or We'll have one there, one there, so I guess we should do a three. And we have, we have one there, so we should have one here, just to make things all even. That's going to let in a lot of natural light. I like that. Uh, um... Just use full glass panes. Bloop, 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 bloop. And then if I ever became fortunate enough to obtain some glowstone, I could just pop that right in the middle. And do that. Because that would just finish things off admirably. We light the interior with torches. Though, as I have said previously, I really dislike using torches all over in a wooden house. Oh, sorry about that. I just bumped my microphone. Okay, I need a ladder and I need lots more fences. Um, pine tree planks? No work. Lots and lots of sticks. Uh, I probably should, uh... Man, I don't remember. What's the recipe for a ladder? I want to say... <laughs> it is. Good. So four ladders should be more than sufficient. And then... I don't really know how many more fences I need. Oh, hey, fella. How's life treating you out there in the cold, cold, wild world? Hmm. I'm going to assume it's treating him all right. Okay, so we'll throw some ladders up top side here. Now the idea is, in the event that I ever needed to get topside on my roof, I could by climbing the ladders. Hmm. 
and then once to the rough, I would have a nice lookout post on the surrounding countryside. And I almost don't even have to put any torches up here because I have, because I didn't make enough fences. Because I have torches from inside lighting it up. Oh, hey, I wonder if I can do the reverse. Put all the torches up on the roof. On the fence here, and just have those light the inside. Somehow I doubt that would work. Going down. Running back inside. Going down again. I think I just saw another dude right out my door. Or window. Okay, lots and lots of fences. Somehow that ended up miserably not equal, but it's okay. I'm just swapping those around. And then I have two leftovers. Twelve should give me enough. I'll have to make more before I begin the next day's work outside. Let's pop torch on the corner post right there. Whoa. <sighs> Cows in the yard again? Uh, I don't understand those guys. Now would there be any point in putting a gate up here? Half of me says no, because I probably would not be able. No. Okay, I guess I'll leave the gate up there. I can't close it, so that works. Zod! No! Wow, that was weird. I just glitched right through the fence. <sighs> I suppose I really should have known better than to uh, try and repeat that. Why am I seeing, like, little purple flowers out there? That could just be me. Okay, rotting meat. I don't need that. Cattle coats. I don't think I can do anything with a cattle coat. Jungle tree, oak tree, jungle wood planks, relay wood. Uh, well. I think I'm gonna make up some more sticks here. Seeing as how I still need more fencing. So I don't think I'm gonna need quite so much as I was initially thinking of. Oh wait, those are different sticks, they're jungle sticks. I'm gonna make a jungle wood fence instead of a wooden fence. Oh, well, it's a workaround. I shall just use... Well, I'll have to make some other sticks then, but... That's all right. Ah. It's the beauty of running this on a five-year-old laptop. But actually it is, because it runs pretty well. Even though the laptop is approximately five years old. And... The bestest part is, I'm also recording the screen, and it's doing this all without too much lag. Except for, of course, when I'm, like, clicking like a madman to craft everything here. Now, the one thing I do wish that there was, was some way to just pull everything off of your crafting grid. So you'd pretty much just you know, be done with it, and be like, 
Hey, it's crafted. Hey, some cotton. So everything could just be crafted and you could be complete. You could be a thing. And I have to mess around with it so much. But I suppose, you know, can't have everything. Hey, there's a stupid mob hanging out there. Hanging out on those trees. See, I said those trees are evil. They need to be chopped down. You know, I kind of knew that was going to happen. Yeah, making this, like, quad fence here. Oh, hello, cow. <laughs> Imagine the prize, right? Fancy seeing you here. It's really not a surprise at all. I totally knew he'd be there. I also knew there's this gross brown goo. Which, if you've watched any of the earlier episodes, you may remember me discovering that. I have no idea what it is. I'm not sure if I want to know what it is. Okay. Now, at some point here, Oh, I know what's going on. I can't pick up the dirt because I have all these unidentified mushroom spores. And somehow I got more of them. Whoa. No, let's please throw out the mushroom spores. Not anything good. Okay. Additionally, if I get rid of these trees, these vines will stop hanging into my yard. Alright, so, if we do something like that, we then put the gate right there. Can I get like a double wide gate, I wonder? And then we'll do either a wooden or a, a something coming down. And we will call it Game Set Match. No, we won't call it Game Set Match, but that's essentially what we will be. We'll be ready to tackle anything. Okay, now I also think if we're doing that. Okay, now we are going to have to, of course, have some way of getting up and down for the time being. So I'll just do a wooden, or a, a dirt ramp here. Or I could do it with slabs. Slabs might work better. Because I kind of feel if I do it with dirt, it's just going to be way too, way too tight. Oh, all this goo is floating in. I don't know if I like that. Like, I mean, what is this? Does anybody have any idea what this is? It can't be water. It's far too dirty. Oh no. What happens when that hits the water? If such a thing can happen. I mean, I know it's not lava. Because lava obviously would do damage when I go in it. And this stuff, whatever it is, doesn't do damage. It honestly slows down movements. It really slows up. It's like molasses. I don't know, just weird. 
Well, anyways. And knock this all down. And unfortunately, we do have to dig all this dirt out. Uh, I think we do anyways. Probably actually could leave most of it without any issues. But my idea is... We're actually going to eliminate the whole garden I have right now. And build a new one elsewhere. That hopefully will get a little more sunlight. Because I feel this one's just been starving for sunlight because... There's all these giant jungle trees just stealing all the light. Okay, so. <clears throat> Let's uh, take down the floating fence. Choppy, 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 choppy. Knocking on it with some dirt. I think that my cotton has matured. But I'm not really sure if that's what mature cotton looks like. It is! Throw out the mushroom spores. Oh no, I can't pick up. Uh, let's throw out the weeds. Two cotton seeds? Yes! And we shall plant one there, right away. Um, where do I put my hole? And we will... Actually, know what we'll do with the other ones? We'll run over here. And we'll plant the cotton seed there. Because I'm thinking... We are going to knock down some wood, just because we always knock down wood. Okay, now we have a stairway there, so we're going to put a fence. Okay, I don't know why that wasn't taken down already. Yeah, see, I really don't need unidentified mushroom spores. I don't even know what you can do with those. I'm guessing somehow there must be a way to identify them. But I don't know. Now this... I should be far enough that nothing can jump from the top and make its way to this. Following the rule of three. Put one there, and actually... Yeah, we'll put that one right there. And then we will replicate that. We have one empty space there. On this side, we're going to leave a few more. And I don't know where we're going to put this side yet. I'm going to knock this out first, fill that hole up over there, and then we'll decide. Because I want to... I want to make sure I'm not shortchanging myself. Got to have enough room to make a good-sized garden. But I really don't know how much room that needs. Okay, what do we have here? Uh, nighttime falls... All too soon. All too soon indeed. And it becomes all too dangerous to be out and about. Though, I will have to say... Ah, uh, you know, it should have been one over, so I could have followed my rule of three. 
Oh well, it's not an actual rule. I mean, obviously, uh, it's an open world. I can do whatever I want. And if I want to do three spaces, I can do three. If I want to do two, I can do two. And I can mix it up. Of course, symmetrically, it just looks better to follow the same pattern throughout. Cow, you're in my way. If you can move your rump, that would be great. Yeah, hi, fella. I really hope you can't get through that wall. Because if you can, I will be ticked. Okay, so... Things are pretty well lit up there. I'm seeing... Something weird growing off that, but it's okay, I guess. We got the garden going down there, all right. I feel like I need some sort of a light in the middle of the yard, right here. Like, maybe... I don't know. What could I put up there? Isn't there... I think there's some recipe that uses glass and a torch. Yeah, let's look here. I think there's some recipe you can make a torch with. Uh, torch... no. Well, yeah, I don't have any of that. Or those. There we go. Glass and a torch gives you glow glass. Sweetness! Un torch. Un piece of glass. I really have no idea how bright glow glass is, but... What better way to find out? Than to run upstairs. Okay, if this is 3x3, three three, this should be the final square. Shink! I'm gonna have to put a piece of glow glass up in there. And then, we will cue the lights. Well, it definitely doesn't make too much light. Uh, not really something I want to use as a replacement. Um... Anyways, let's see what else we've got here. A lamp, but I need wool for that. Obviously, I don't have any wool right now. Ooh! A wall lantern. Oh, iron lumps. Where am I going to find those? Okay. Make a chimney, I guess. Glowing embers. I want to know what to do with glowing embers. Paper. Ooh. Um, a bare light bulb. But I have to have some raw iron, which I don't have. Super glow glass. Hey! I like that. Let's make some super glow glass. How much brighter is super glow than glow? Together, we will find out on this thrilling episode of Nathan Plays Mind Test. Whoa, hey. That's... That's a lot better. Um, I really don't know what I'm going to use glow glass for. We might just... You know, yeah, that like lights up nothing. I'm off to make another bit of super glow glass. 
And then we'll throw that on top of that pole in the middle of the yard. Oh, great, there's two of them here? Dudes, how are you guys getting in? Yeah, I see you out there, coming towards me. Obviously, you know you can't get me, right? Oh, hi. Oh, hi to you, too. I've never really understood. Why do these guys, like, wear suits? I mean... What is it with a suit? Not that I have anything against suits, of course. But... Why is, you know, what we... Yeah, let's let's not glitch our way down like we did before. You know, why do these guys wear suits? It just doesn't quite make sense. Oh, hey, there another one is. These guys are all over the place out here. Oh, hey, I wonder. You know... That doesn't look bad. Create a little bit of ambiance. Whee! Well. Let's close the door. Oh, hello! I say, can't you just leave a fella alone? Uh, I'm guessing that means no. Dudes, get a life. Well, one thing I can do, I can definitely put windows in when it's night time. Let me just pop the glass in here. Uh, okay, so, thinking... Let's make this window a little wider. Kind of expected him to like come running at me or something. I really don't know why he would have, but I half expected it. I'm guessing it won't fit into my inventory. Yes, my inventory. I have a. Uh, I was watching some videos on YouTube. And the guys definitely had British accents. And while I have nothing against the British accent and myself, you know, it's just, there's a few words that they pronounce a little bit different than we do. Like they'll say inventory, and it's like, excuse me mate, but I believe the word you're looking for is inventory. But, you know, I say it is a little difficult to say inventory if you're trying to pull off that true Brit accent where you have to say inventory. Of course, they probably also say perambulator and, you know, spanners. It's like, no, it's a wrench, guys, it's a wrench. Again, of course, I don't mind. Come on, the sun is coming up. You should be burning. You should be dying. And why is this thing so massive? It's way bigger than the wheeled image for, say, a piece of dirt. Hey. You're not supposed to be able to survive, man. It's too bright for you. Whoa. Oh, I was gonna say, I hope I get it back. Um. Okay, maybe I need to place some dirt as a helper. So I don't know how some <laughs> how some you put this on the top of that without. You know, destroying something. There we go, I like that. Creates a nice flowing ambiance. 
Now to take some trees out. There's a lot of tree cutting to do. Bees. Oh, hey, I should make a beehive. I really just need to to buck up and spend some time chopping these trees. I almost wonder if I shouldn't. And I probably really should. Put a gate on that side. Well, where do I have gates? Just there, don't I? Eh, but I don't have any other gates on me. Because admittedly it would be nice to get out and about over there. So I could, with a little more ease, clean up these trees. Because even right now I see there's a mob hiding over there because it's too dark under all these trees. They just provide such dense coverage. It's insane is what it is. Uh, this is so slow. I really need to get faster implements. And it broke. And I've been playing for a while. Let's call it a day here. Pick it up at another day. Another point. Can't make these videos too long, you know. Otherwise, no one would watch them. So, I will catch you around next time.